I confess. The ideal man is normally eight inches taller than her. I'm a short king myself, shout out. Yeah, no, I think this person's stupid, first and foremost. Like, first and foremost. <laughs> what makes you attractive to women is your ability. Like a That's high crazy. value male. I started plowing all of her friends, and then so-and-so said you have a big hog or whatever. I'm not gonna be <laughs> arguing anything here anymore. Because his shallow male side kicked in, and he was like, this girl's just so hot, I have to unload inside her. And welcome to another episode of Unregistered. You have your favorite host. I am Fabi. And I'm Zach. And this is our fourth take because... Fifth. 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 Oh my god. <laughs> fifth take and we only have one mic because uh, shit's going wrong. So I don't know what to do. Blame technology. So, yeah. Well, as you can see, we're in a different location today. And Zach has a different look on his face as well. A really good looking look. I would say so. Um, I argue that he looks like one of those 80s serial killers, but that's just like my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I said more like the 80s porn stars, but like, because they're a little bit sexy, t- a little bit, you know, a little bit, kind of, no? I mean, to each their own at this point. <laughs> yeah. But let's introduce where we are, first of all, <laughs> okay. which is this really cool <laughs> bar and podcast that uh, my brother helped find and yeah. shout out big bro. And so uh, we have the co-founder of this bar and podcast with us. Uh, let me introduce to you, Mr. Sean. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, everyone, this is literally a fifth take. Um... I confess, the ideal man for a woman is normally eight inches taller than her. Height shouldn't be a defining factor per se, but a short girl who is five feet tall shouldn't expect a six foot tall man. A guy who is 5'8 is probably her ideal height. I know, four inches is such a buzzkill. Something you probably wouldn't even notice because you're effectively so short anyways. Sorry, so someone wrote this? Yeah, so yeah. someone sent it in. Oh my god, so, do we know more about who sent this in? No. We have no idea. It's just a blank statement. We, it's a, Anonymous. Do we even know this person's in college or university? Nothing no. to <laughs> confirm it. Uh, we just know this is a person. I'm going to assume he's not that tall. Oh, it's a he that wrote that. I don't a, know. A, well, I'm saying the like ideal. I think, it's, I think it's from a male perspective. We're going to speculate here. Uh, I think it's a person. I think it's a man who is maybe not that tall. And you know what? It's okay. Hey, I'm a short king myself. Shout out. So, but I don't know if I fully agree, but what do you uh, think, Sean? Oh, uh, yeah. No, I think this person's stupid, first and foremost, for even writing this. Like, like, buddy, you don't know shit about life. Like, first and foremost, okay? Like, straight up. Um, simply put, like, in my experience, you know, I'm a happily engaged man right now. Like, uh, I'm just going to go on a limb and say this, okay? What, what makes you attractive to women is your abilities. You have to be useful. You have to be smart. You have to have ambition. You have to be going somewhere. You can't be some deadbeat. Like a high creating. value male. Yeah. And like if you're even one feet tall to 10 feet tall, it doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, like I, I like it's uh, the, our, all of our physiology goes out the window anyway due to age. But what doesn't is this, your brain, your capabilities to produce a life for people you love and care about. So that's what you're trapped on. You're going to be single forever guy <laughs> you know so yeah like um i say you're you're uh you're you took the time to write that dumb little question you should be taking time to upgrade your life oh, oh. fuck <laughs> Holy I guess that was... i'm not gonna say though that i argue with this guy because there's something so off-putting to me when like a six foot something guy is dating like a five foot ladies girl. and gentlemen i just feel like that's like but you fab, you're like seven feet tall so like. <laughs> yeah i'm five eight so i'm like tall for a woman so that's why i'm like save the tall guys for the rest of us is that really what this is about you're like hey <laughs> no but i just don't you find it weird it seems like like parent and child in a way when you look at them no just because it's like so fucking weird like two of her is his height i don't know i don't know i think the world is so full of variety that like i mean if if we're gonna go off metrics every time then we may as well set up arranged marriages you know what i mean because like people are gonna fall in love in different ways um you know like i mean just like even a couple years even 30 years ago interracial relationships was like oh what is that right and then it's like no but now it's normal it's it's all about um um, just, just human beings. Like, how do you get along to make a life together? Okay. Do you think guys under five eight deserve credit cards? 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they do. Mm-hmm. I personally don't think so. Mm-hmm. I think they should ask tall people uh, to buy them whatever they want. And honestly, it's. Do you think uh, hog size matter? I don't know. Ask Fabi. What are you asking uh-huh. me? <laughs> no, I'm asking you. Why would I, hog this size is, matter for me. Yeah, know. no, no. We're just asking. Just yeah. in general, um, does uh, hog size matter for you or? I don't know. I I've, I've been told I have a great hog, and that's all I know. <laughs> so you know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, t- yeah. I, I like the confidence. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, good. it's not. It's backed up by fact. Basically, backed up by fact. I uh, I have this one friend that I I went on a tear and uh, <laughs> I started plowing all of her friends and then like and then just like. All of a sudden, they're like, "Hey, like, you know, hey, like you got throw that you, throw man. that Asian myth out the window." Yeah. Sean's fucking Sean's, Sean's got a big hog or whatever. Yeah. And I remember I was with my business partner Cass. We were in the gym doing bro stuff, whatever. What but did he say? I remember oh, I'm about to lift. <laughs> I'm about to like bench, whatever, like a PR attempt, anyway. And then he's just like, and he wasn't even trying to do this. He just like, "Oh, hey, by the way, so and so said you have a big hog or whatever." And I was like, yes. And like, I remember just like, I like, like Rocky, like put my hands up. And I was like, yes. And the whole gym just like looked at me and I, I didn't even do the PR yet. I just like stood up and was like, yes. So oh, yeah. That's, that's fantastic. I'm so happy for you, man. You got a PR and a big hog. Who would have thought? No, I didn't even do the PR. Oh. I was about to lift. Okay. So you know what? As do you have like a message? I think you said your message to this guy or girl. But I'm gonna assume it's oh, a guy. Oh, it's a girl. I'd have a completely different, like, completely different. different response. How to that. so? Okay, please. Uh, well, if if, if, it's, if if it's a girl, I would say like, oh my god, like it's like if if you're um, if these guys are are I don't know whether they're tall or big or whatever. It's like just how do they how how safe do they make you feel in your pursuit of your goals? Is my question. You know, like so it's like if you're dating this guy, like and he's six feet tall, but he has no direction and you deep down want to have a family then you don't feel safe being with him long term because he's not going to be able to provide you what what you need so that you could provide him with the family right you know like so it's like but if you date a short dude like tom cruise style but this guy's like hey this is my direction of this business i want to start this thing i'm going to do you're going to be like yeah, like I'm, I'm gonna get on board with 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 this guy, and um, cause you know he might he can provide like it's not about money, it's about like our life together. So final question mm. for uh, the short king: uh, Should calf implants <laughs> be covered by health insurance? Calf implants? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> it should be built in the gym doing calf. Races. I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear uh, Fabiana's take on this. I mean, I. Because then everyone can be tall, and then everyone can be part of your, uh, you know, pick. Yeah, but are breast implants covered by health insurance? No, because it's a cosmetic thing, right? So I mean, that was a joke, and obviously <laughs> you took it a little too personal. <laughs> and I'm just trying to crack you up, and it didn't go as I planned. So <laughs> I just say that joke. <laughs> and we'll go on to the next. Okay. We're the first podcast bar in Canada, so we're primarily a restaurant. So definitely come down and check out our food. Um, in the show notes, I'll give you our address and everything like that. Um, but we're also a podcast, okay? We shoot our show, Cax Bar and Podcast, out of this studio. And we also rent this studio out so other people can make content out of it. Uh, if you're ever interested, DM the Cax Bar Podcast on Instagram uh, or go to the show notes with the email. It goes right to me and my business partner and we can set it up for you. And next confession. For a long time, I haven't been able to like someone or have a crush. Within a couple of days of thinking about a potential crush, my feelings just up and leave. Kind of relatable, honestly. Um, It would have been great if this is where the story ended. But truthfully, I have a thing for older guys. And even if there are a million red flags, I can never get them out of my head. Ooh, Uh, This has been a trend for a long time. But I have never accepted the fact that this thing was actually me having a crush. I am super grossed out by this and I want it to go away. Please help. Wait, so she's grossed out that she likes older guys? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so she has a she ha- develops crushes on older guys, but okay. like she doesn't want to. Right. So that goes back to what I was saying earlier. Like when you're su- when you're super young, it seems like it's all the hormones driving the attraction. So you're like, oh, he's too short and he's not ugly enough. This guy doesn't wear Yeezys or whatever. Fuck. You know, it's just like it's like. But as you actually mature and you go through your life and you realize the amount of crazy shit it takes to even have a life function, you're gonna realize the priority is what kind of life can it create. And when you see an older guy, most older guys have gone through 
the emotional craziness. They have gone through like the downs already. They have they have they're coming as a polished uh, object, if you will. And like now you see like, hey, this person can create a actual life, like which means supply money, resources, um, emotional attention. They know when to not. Uh, you know, get out of line. They, they're calmer. Like that's you're attracted to the life you can create. But you said that the older guys are the ones that like have their shit together. Should they should they should. should. But she said that she's attracted to the ones even if there are a million red flags. Like what would be like again? What, we don't know what these red flags are. Like a uh, bald, uh, <laughs> small hog. Uh, <laughs> let's see, short. I don't know. Physical red flags. Oh okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Like, <laughs> <laughs> mental and emotional red flags too maybe like mommy issues um or like okay. maybe they're scared of commitment okay again so. th these these confessions are so broad like we're using our imagination so we don't know like again we i'm have going to use our imagination i know That's so like so, so there's no right or wrong answer exactly like, like uh at the end of the day like okay um if you're if you're seeing this many red flags an older guy and I again, I'm assuming we're talking to a younger girl because she says older guys. Then you might just be crazy. <laughs> you know? So like, enjoy your crazy ride, lady. Wait, why would you say that? What? But if there's like red flags, it's like obviously like. Okay, this you is what know. you're telling me. Like when you say, "Oh, he's older, but he has red flags." It's like, but I'm attracted to the older. Like, oh, but then younger. It's like I have a crush for two weeks, and like you're basically saying you're not happy no matter what you do. So I'm like, good luck, crazy lady. <laughs> we're confused as kids, <laughs> you know. What you, thoughts, Fabiana? Your thoughts? I don't know. I don't <laughs> like it, calling anyone crazy unless it's one of those like crackheads on the street. So <laughs> to each their own. Do you think age matters when dating? No. No. Al Pacino, he's 82. 82. Yeah. Just had his like seventh or eighth child. Kind of gross, if you ask me. <laughs> not, not, not us. It's, gross for the girl. Yeah, the but, gross uh, for Al Pacino too. It's kind of like a, a walking ball sack. I uh, just had kids, which is kind of like really gross. You know why? Why aren't you for focus on how impressed we are that there's still live barrels being shot at 82? That's some powerful life force energy stemming from that nutsack. It doesn't seem like you're that impressed. I'm very unimpressed right now. Why? You're not impressed by Al Pacino's, uh, you know, fertility? No, I think that that's <laughs> disgusting. Okay. Well. First of all, it's a scientific miracle. Like, I mean, like, yeah, I guess. Most, I most guys' barrels are empty by, like, 55. So Do this guy's he... so full of life force that he's, like... He could still what? shoot live rounds at 82? Like, what can't he do? How likely is the kid to be his is my question. Good question. Oh, oh no. Wow. Hey. Okay, what if... What if they do a DNA test and 100% it is his? Then, holy shit, Al Pacino, what did you eat? And what <laughs> kind of, like, miracle shit are you going through? Um, but that's just disgusting, in my opinion. Like, you're going to die within the next, what, 10 years? Why are you having a kid right now? That you're never going to be part of I life. speculate because his uh, shallow male side kicked in and he was like, this girl's just so hot, I have to unload inside her. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. No, not funny at all. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that look on his face. Oh, oh yeah. Did not like that. Yeah, well, what's your, what's, Zach, what do you think, though? Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, like, you looked at Fab to be like, oh, she's disgusted. So yeah. I hope you're not being like, my co-host is disgusted. I better be disgusted. Oh, like, no, no, no. pretend Fab's not in the room right here. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on, man. You don't think that's <laughs> impressive? That's like hearing yeah, yeah. an 80-year-old, like, bench. 200 pounds yeah, yeah you know what no, i mean no, You're like no. how is that even physically possible like no impressive at the fact that he's still shooting the way he's shooting yeah. but grossed out at the fact that he's shooting the way he's shooting you know <laughs> so it's like you yeah. know the fuck is going on but also what the fuck is going on because True. it's poetic, crazy yeah, i know and uh it's pretty insane i think the age gap is like kind of concerning whatever the age gap is that is I don't know true. that one like is true yeah 80 or like 20 or something like that i that's think a, she's under 30 man i don't that's, know i know that's this is crazy it's crazy I, I think the age gap in any category i hey, think but just like that 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 girl who had the i'm falling in love with an older guy thing like when when the girls when, or not girls but when people fall in love it's she's it's, 54 no no oh, no 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 she's no. 54 years younger <laughs> oh <laughs> Do some math for me. What's 83, 83 minus 50? <laughs> oh, God. Ooh, that's, so there you go. I think that the biggest age gap I've seen in a couple is 18 years. 
Yeah. Well, I'm 10 years older than my fiance, so, mm-hmm. you know. That's so. I think it's okay. Yeah. I think that the Al Pacino's age gap is fucking that crazy. Is, that Four is that is a that's an fucked. outlier uh thing or whatever. But what are um, you talking about? Like I thought like you know there's has to be even like us talking to you there's so much like difference in that. Yeah. What do they have in common? Is my question. Like She likes not- wrinkly dicks. Yeah. <laughs> Ew, no. I guess. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't say picture it. <laughs> that means you. That means yeah. you humored the idea. Yeah, but <laughs> throw up now. <laughs> like, but my question is: It weirder if an older guy, like a super old guy, goes for a younger girl? If a super old woman goes for a younger? That's man? an interesting one because I think this is one of those very distinguishable bias situations because. Why the older guy is attracted to the younger girl and is because of fertility. Like it's you like think the, so? the testosterone is attracted to like what can produce. Where I'm going with that, okay? Like yeah, yeah. I, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just saying if Leonardo DiCaprio is even 70 and he's still dating a 20 year old there is definitely probably genetic uh uh like there's a genetic history of why he thinks that way you know it's like he's probably just thinking like procreate procreate like at a testosterone level right to like he probably has a lot of testosterone he probably just even though he doesn't use it for fitness he mm. uses it for his life you know do you guys get what i'm saying or do i have to further no, 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 myself I, with, I understand, <laughs> with I understand. over explanation here I, but i think it's just like it's just the topic of like agreeing or disagreeing and um you yeah. have a different stance as you get older yeah, yeah. I, think. I, think, I think yeah, yeah. <laughs> at this age we're like i don't know because like obviously like someone dating someone significantly older is like it's kind of gross because okay sorry maybe yeah. i'm over explaining zach all i know is this I, I don't know i can only speak for me and almost all of my peer group but yeah. by the time you're even 26 you don't care what anyone thinks anymore because you're literally more concerned about how are you going to pay your bills how are you going to set yourself up to stop being in this situation where like money, like bills and stresses are like, you're too dialed in on what you, your responsibilities. Like you don't literally don't have time to care what people think. And then when you call someone to hang out, most people as fab can test, like they're at the bar. Cause they're, they're like trying to relieve that stress of every day. Like they don't, you don't care about what people think anymore. So like if you're dating a younger girl, it's cause you're actually into it. That's it. Simple as that. You think she's hot. That's it. You're like, holy fuck. Like, I like the way she does her hair. I like the way she dresses. I like the way her body is. <laughs> you know, like, she can procreate probably. Like, I can get older. Apparently, if I'm like Al Pacino, I can still shoot live rounds. But she's definitely ready to go because gr- women do have a life cap of when they can procreate, right? So, like, if subconsciously guys think about having a family, that's why they're thinking younger, right? Like, older, you're looking more for like a companion at that point. It's not family making person anymore, like, naturally anyway. Sure. <laughs> I can't tell what Fab's thinking. Let's either. just go into our rapid fire <laughs> questions. I'm not going to be arguing anything here anymore. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Is, is this the most different podcast you've ever yeah. done so far? This is just like swerving into yeah. a whole other realm. This was like, this is an interesting podcast for me just because like, I don't know, I like having very like uncomfortable, dicey conversations sometimes. <laughs> Obviously, we're not going to keep a lot of it, but uh, I just like having them because they're they're fun sometimes. Okay. I think that they're fun conversations. The hardest part for me is that like sometimes I just have to bite my tongue and not say all that I but want this to is, say. This is also a Cash Bond podcast podcast, so like just say what you think. I want to know what you think because maybe I'm out to lunch. Maybe I'm such a dinosaur now that like the way I even see the world is like obsolete, you know? Like I don't want to be out I of mean, touch. I just want to count how many times you said procreate yeah. during this episode. I think you really emphasize that yeah, one and yeah. that for me. Just like, well, because psychologically, I'm in that range soon. You know, like me and my fiance talk all the time. Like, we, we would do this soon or make kids or, you know, like we're in that weird limbo, right? You know, so it is on my mind. And I think of it in that perspective. Are you going to have kids soon? We don't know. So without further ado, our rapid fire questions. Uh, what is your favorite podcast? Joe Rogan. Who's your biggest role model? Jocko Willink. What is the hottest thing you find about a girl? If she makes me laugh, she's funny. She's like t- 10 times hotter. What is your biggest physical deal breaker? I don't know. Bad breath. 
Okay, fair. And then we talked a little bit about red flags today. What would you say are your red flags? Well, I'm a pretty competitive guy, so my ego can come into play. Like, okay. I've had, I've been that guy that got in a bar fight over a girl. Ah. Okay, and then our final rapid fire question <laughs> is what is one word that you would use to describe yourself? Can it be two words? Sure. Tries. To be good. <laughs> Tries to be good. <laughs> we'll give you four, four words. Yeah. Okay. I try to be good all the okay. time. I care about other people. I try always to be good. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Sean, for coming up on the podcast. Thank you so much for listening to us. Uh, please make sure to share this episode uh, with people you think will like this. Like it as well. And... Uh, Comment what your red flags are, okay? And also, thank you so much, Cax Bar Podcast, uh, for letting us in this space and for setting this entire thing up. It's really cool. Feel free to check this out. This is the address of Cax Bar Podcast. And also, you can check them out in the link in the description to check out all their socials and check out uh, Sean's podcast as well. Give them a listen. And this will also be available on their page as well. So, Thank you so much, Sean. Do you have anything to say? Before no, we... thank thank you guys, uh, Fabi, Zach, and uh, uh, Samson. Samson. <laughs> Sorry, brother. <laughs> like, no, no, I guys, I, I I love what you guys are doing. Keep it up. And uh, I'm sorry if I'm not your complete cup of tea. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I loved it. I loved it, man. This was yeah. Yeah. Um, so okay. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.